I'm Anil Kumar and now let us explore how logarithms can be applied to exponential equations. The question here is a population of 100 bacteria will triple in 20 hours. Determine growth rate of the population, determine growth factor of the population, determine how many hours will it take the initial population to double at this growth rate. So the f exponential formula which relates the growth rate with the number of bacteria in population is uh, A equals to the initial amount times 1 plus R to the power of T. It is kind of similar to the compounding uh, investment formula, right? So it is that. Now in this R is the growth rate and 1 plus R is the growth factor. Correct? That is what you need to understand. So when we say growth rate, we have to find the value of R. And when we say growth factor, then the whole initial population is being multiplied by 1 plus R. So here we need to find 1 plus R. So this is the difference between part A and B, which I think is important to understand. Now let's do the calculations. So if we have to find so we are already given time t and in this case we know triple means three times right so we know that initial population p is 100 a is three times 100 which is 300 and uh, t is 20 for us so substitute these values to find what r is right so we can write 300 is equals to 100 times 1 plus r to the power of 20 now if I divide 300 by 100, I get the number 3, right? Should be equals to 1 plus r to the power of 20. Now I have to take the 20th power to get 1 plus r is equal to what? Let me write like this now. 1 plus r equals to 3 and the root is 20th. Do you see that? 20th root of 3. So let us use the calculator to calculate the 20th root of 3. So we can also write exponent and within exponent we can write 1 divided by 20. So these are different ways of writing the same thing. Uh, that gives us 1.056. Okay, uh, let me round it here to 5. Okay, I know it's 4, 6 something. I'm just rounding it at this position. Approximately 1 plus R is 1.0565. And rearranging we can write r is equals to 1.0565 minus 1 which is 0 0.565 so we get the value of r now when we say determine the growth rate it is good to write it in a percent form right so so we can say growth rate uh, in percent we can write this as um, I wrote it wrong. It is, I'm sorry, this is 0 0.0565, right? So when I take away 1, I get 0 0.0565. In percent, it will be uh, written as 0 0.565. I mean, again, I wrote it like this. Zero, let me rewrite this. So it is 0 0.0565 times 100, right? So we'll write percent. So, which will give us 5.65%. You get the idea. So, our value is 0 0.0565. And normally, it is to be written in percent. So, you multiply by 100 and write it down. So, that is how you should write growth rate, right? Both are correct values. Anyway, now, let's go to part B, which is determine growth factor. As I said, growth factor is 1 plus R. So, the growth factor here is... 1.0565 it is important to understand both these terms very clearly now part c is determine how long or how many hours will it take initial population to double to it at this growth rate right so double means final will become 200 so we can write this as 200 equals to 100 and now we know the value of 1 plus r so i could write that value as 1.0 to the power of t. We don't know what this t is. So let us find the doubling time. 
Now we'll divide 200 by 100, so we get 200 divided by 100 equals to 1.0565 to the power of t, and that is equals to 2. Now to solve such equations, what we can do is, we can estimate by estimating values of t. Let's say you just put 10, 20, and then figure out what should be the next value and converge to 2. Or you can take log. So let's take log both sides. So we have log of 2 equals to log of 1.0565 to the power of t. So when you solve it, then it becomes, uh, let me solve it on the right side. So when you solve it, then <coughs> t comes here, that's the properties of log. And so we get t times log of 1.0565 is equals to log of 2, right? So t could be written as log 2 divided by log of 1.0565, correct? So we can use the calculator to find this answer. So we have log 2 divided by log of 1.0565 and that is equals to 12.61 right so so amount of time it will take us around 12.6 hours so the, so the doubling time we can write down as our answer uh, that doubling time is approximately 12.6 hours Right, so so that is that is the answer which we get from these values. I hope with this you understand how to apply logarithms to calculate uh, expon time when it is in exponent form. So that helps. Thank you, and all the best.